you come and invest in the EFF government, you are going to do it through the terms determined by the government of the EFF. And there is no compromise about that. We said that in London. Now here at home we are being insulted. You know why? They were jealous of us. It's only jealous, political jealous. That these people can address so many white people in a hall in London. <laughs> Quede has never done that. <laughs> KB Mapazo will never do that. Imagine Chatham House. Eh? Such, a, such a, a prestige platform convened for KB Mapazo. <laughs> a cook, cook. A person who was cooking in MK to go and address Chatham House. They don't play there in London. They don't have time for cooks. No time for such clowns there. But they, they were shocked. They were shocked that these people receive such an audience. In London, why? Because these are clowns. These are useless people. They don't have to be listened to. The world is beginning to listen. I don't care. You call me anything you want to call me. About Tembu, Royal, what, what. You'll never address prestige platforms. Manda Mandela is a small boy. He says Julius Malema must fall. Let's hope he will rise. Eh? Rise. <laughs> Literally rise. <laughs> Manda Mandela must rise when Julius Malema falls. Because I've risen. Eh? Risen. So I don't care about Manda Mandela. He's a small boy. He says to me, I've never struggled. I've never worked. My, creden my credentials are there. What did Man Mandela Mandela do to earn a seat in parliament? What, huh? <laughs> what did Mandela Mandela do to earn a seat in parliament? Except the same name of his grandfather? Is he saying he's defending the legacy of his grandfather? Let's hope he will have children to defend his legacy and grandchildren to defend his legacy. Let's hope so. My children will defend my legacy. They are there already. I have no problem. Manda Mandela, we hope your children and your grandchildren will defend your non-existing legacy. Who is Manda Mandela in the politics of South Africa? Because his highest ambition was to be a club DJ. <laughs> it's not me, it's what he said. He thinks today he can address issues of national importance because we must be subjects of a Mandela royal family. I'm not a subject of Mandela royal family. I'm not subject of royal Mandela family. I'm not. They must address their subjects there and beat them up the way they've been beating them up. They will never do that with me. They will never do that with me. If Manda Mandela wants to know my credentials, I challenge him to a public debate on the legacy of Nelson Mandela. Let Manda Mandela come and take me on, on the legacy of Nelson Mandela. All, everything else I say about Nelson Mandela is true. Mandela before prison spoke about nationalization. Mandela in prison spoke about nationalization. Mandela after prison spoke about nationalization. Did Mandela nationalize? The answer is no. What is an insult about that? Where is the land as adopted by the Freedom Charter, the People's Congress? Where is the land? Have people received their land under Mandela? I don't belong to a religion called Mandela. I'm not. President Mandela is a human being like all of us. He's got his own shortcomings. His legacy and his contribution to the struggle will be a permanent subject for critique in the South African politics. And we're doing exactly that without fear or favor. If you don't want to vote for me because I'm critiquing Mandela, then you want to live a lie. Give your vote to those who live a lie. I don't live a lie. I'm not going to receive votes because I must lie and sugarcoat the reality that those who led the ANC during the negotiations have compromised a lot and sold out. 
the revolution. More than Mandela, I don't want to single an individual out. It was a collective leadership. Mandela as an individual could do so much. He said to us, don't call me, I'll call you. I'm tired, I'm too old now. But the struggle continues. We, the young ones, understood him to be saying, take over the baton and continue with the struggle. We did exactly that. Why would Mandela say the struggle continues, a luta continua, if Mandela has achieved everything? I'm not going to be blackmailed. Because, no, Mandela is no more. You can't speak about him like that. We speak about many, many people who sold out the revolution in the past, not only in South Africa, international, of people who are no more. Of people who are no more. They are no longer with us yet. I said in the Oxford Union, a student stood up and said, Mandela sold out the Freedom Charter. Mandela did this. Mandela did that. Decides people have got the video. They are refusing to give it to us. I don't know why. Because I want to show the South Africans how that question came about. And I said there, I agree with you that Freedom Charter has been sold out. I agree with you that we have made huge compromises. But to single out Mandela that he sold out is not correct. I don't believe Mandela sold out. I believe Mandela made his contribution to a particular extent, and it is up to us to take it from there and move forward. But the fact that Mandela compromised, he did. Mandela, you like it or not, you can go and hang. Anyone who doesn't like that can go and hang. Jesse Duarte. You can go and hang. You are nothing under the sun. Nothing. We are pursuing a very huge revolution here. I'm not going to be intimidated by anyone. I'm not going to be made to succumb to a royal family I'm not a subject to.